Guys, we got a new toy! It's Nitro and has a two-speed transmission. We got four-wheel drive. In a minute, we're gonna take it out for a rip. But first, just check out this beautiful body. So next, let's have a look to see what's inside. So here we got the 15 size engine, the two-speed transmission, disc brake in there, look, double wishbone suspension, front and rear, coilover shocks, tyres feel lovely and supple, and a metal chassis. Here's a load more techno babble. I'm not going to bore you with all that, so I'm just going to put a link down below where you can get all the specifications and where you can buy one from. Here's a controller that it comes with and it's nice and comfy. The trouble is, I can't do one-handed driving. The thumb just doesn't quite reach the wheel. Because a lot of the time when I film, I've got the controller in one hand and the camera in the other, so I can kind of do both at the same time. And with this Dumbo controller, I can do it one-handed and I can also put my phone in the controller and do a bit of filming like that. Receiver, where are you? Ah, there you are. Here we've got the Dumbo receiver. And we just pull the cables out of the car show one and plug them straight into the Dumbo one. No idea what that one is, VCC. Probably just the battery power, so we can just plug that in anywhere we want. So I'm going to plug it in there. Not a fan of these little AA battery cases because they can cause runaways. Funny when it's someone else's, but not when it's yours. Here we have throttle. Brakes like that. And steering. And if you want to know where you can get a Dumbo radio from, I'm going to put a link to that down below. By the way, I use that radio on almost all of my RC cars. You can bind an unlimited amount of receivers to it, so you can have one controller and as many different cars on there as you like. There's no model memories, uh, but it's not such a big deal. You just servo reverse, maybe do your trim, and then boom, off you go. I'll tell you one thing, now I'm not a fan of all these crosshead screws over the whole thing. Trouble is with them, um, they're so easy to round off. Would have been nice to see them use these hex screws. Anyway, Nitro time and this is 25%. More percent, more power. Yes. Then to prime the engine we have to go full power, finger on the exhaust and tug. And then once you see the fuel go into the engine, then we should be good to go. And I'm no expert with this nitro stuff. If I can't get it to run right, we might have to get Mick in the house. Then we go get the filter on there and the cable tie to hold it. Right, let's see if we can get it running. Oh dear, now we start messing about with this, it might never run again. The Mick Craddock RC Masterclass. Link down below. Watch that. You'll know how to tune engines. Look at that. Running lovely. Mick, are you proud of me? Look at that, guys. Running lovely. I'm really getting back into my nitros. They tend to be a little bit slower than your electric cars. But there's just something really special about having a real little engine in there, a little exhaust, a little fuel tank. It just makes the whole experience that much more realistic. Anyway, time to take it out for a rip. Here we are on location and oh look, Mitchell has bought a, what is it? Kershaw Phaser Mark II. So we can have a little race in a minute? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's brushed. He's not brushless. Yeah, it's all completely stopped. So I think what's going to happen is he's going to get whooped. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> get your one ready. I'll get mine running. We'll have a race. <laughs> all right, we are doing one lap of the roundabout. We're going to bring it out again a bit later when the sun comes up. All right, there we go. Electric brushed versus nitro two speed. Ready, ready, go. <laughs> So it's another day, the sun's come out, we're going to take the nitro out again, but we need to get some more nitro. So let's head over to our local hobby shop, Redfin Models, and tank it up. 
private parking. Is it? Yeah. Have they got their own spot? Well, it's only 60 quid if you get caught. <laughs> <laughs> Could he get clapped? Yeah, they're not going to get clapped on these tyres, are they? <laughs> it says loading only, we're loading nitro. Here we are at Redfin Models. What new toys has Jason got in the shop? So here we are in the Redfin Dungeon. What have you got for us, Jason? We've got a Bruiser. A little Tammy one with a metal chassis and three speed and whatnot. And right up. A G made GOM with an axe system in it and nice server and whatnot. It's gone? Yeah, yeah, been and gone. It's gone now. Oh, yeah. See ya. <laughs> What's he doing? He's up and in, they're going to go for sale. Um, they're kind of top secret. Uh oh, but, uh, uh -oh. can the viewers see? That's my Zoom, which is a very rare one. Release. It's a re release, but um, yeah. as soon as they, um, as soon as they run out, they've got a bit collectible quite quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I've got this in. Is it for sale? Yeah. So What's that Avanti there? And that's an original 1988 Avanti. Oh, that was my dream car when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I used to look at the catalogues. Yeah. I'll and this and too. this and the Egress. Yeah. This and the Egress was like the one, wasn't it? it was like... Oh, check that out. Look, so cute. A quick flippage of what's in there, bring back some memories. Where's all the buggies? Ah, that's Chris's one, the Grasshopper. I think that's awesome. Cool. So, all wheel drive. So, these wheel bases, can you change that between cars? Yeah. All right, we'll take, yeah. we'll take that one then. Nitro, nitro. Oh, look at that. Look at all that. Lovely, jubbly. If you want to come here, this is where it is. Got a nitro, so now. We can go with it. No ticket. <laughs> yes. I thought this was a Renault, but apparently it's a Porsche. Drive RCs. God, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't crash it, it's a nice body. You've got to do bad for first go, aren't you? What have you done? Oh, <laughs> give me that back. <laughs>